Baghdad International Airport IATA, BGW, ICAO, Orbi, previously Saddam International Airport IATA, SDA, ICAO, Orbs Arabic, Emtar Baghdad Aldli is Iraq's largest international airport, located in a suburb about 16 km 9 .9 miles west of downtown Baghdad in the Baghdad Governorate. It is the home base for Iraq's national airline, Iraqi Airways. History Pre-1982 The present airport was developed under a consortium led by French company, SPI Batinoles, under an agreement made in 1979. The Iran-Iraq War delayed full opening of the airport until 1982. The airport at the time was opened as Saddam International Airport, bearing the name of the former Iraqi president, Saddam Hussein. Topic: 1982 to 2003. Most of Baghdad's civil flights stopped in 1991, when the United Nations imposed restrictions on Iraq after the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait during the Persian Gulf War. Because of the no-fly zone imposed on Iraq by the United States and the United Kingdom, Iraqi Airways was only able to continue domestic flights for limited periods. Internationally, Baghdad was able to receive occasional charter flights carrying medicine, aid workers, and government officials. Royal Jordanian Airlines operated regular flights from Amman to Baghdad. Topic: 2003 to 2005. In April 2003, U.S.-led coalition forces invaded Iraq and changed the airport's name from Saddam International Airport to Baghdad International Airport. The ICAO code for the airport consequently changed from Orbs to Orbi, the IATA code subsequently switched from SDA to BGW, which previously referred to all Baghdad airports and before that to al Mathana Airport when Saddam was in power. Civilian control of the airport was returned to the Iraqi government in 2004. Topic: 2005 present. Sather Air Base came under fire from periodic rocket attacks from Baghdad. On December 6, 2006, a 107 rocket attack landed 30 yards meters from a parked C-5A aircraft, placing scores of shrapnel holes in the aircraft. Terminal C has been refreshed with three active gate areas for carriers operating from the airport. In January 2015, a Fly Dubai jet carrying 154 passengers was struck by gunfire as it landed at the airport. One passenger was injured when at least three bullets struck the plane. After the incident, UAE carriers Fly Dubai and Emirates suspended their flights from Dubai to Baghdad. Flights by Turkish Airlines and Royal Jordanian were also temporarily suspended. Baghdad Airport Road, connecting the airport with the Green Zone, which was once a dangerous route full of IEDs, has been refurbished with palm trees, manicured lawns, and a fountain, with Turkish assistance. Topic: <laughs> Military use. Within the airport there is a separate enclave called the new al Mathana Air Base where No. 23 Squadron IQAF is based with three Lockheed C-130E Hercules transport aircraft and the home to a number of Suhoi Su-25s. Sather Air Base or Camp Sather was a United States Air Force base on the west side of the airport occupied from 2003 to 2011 during the Iraq War. It was named in memory of Combat Controller Staff Sergeant Scott Sather, the first enlisted airman to die in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Sather was awarded the Bronze Star Medal with Valor for his leadership of a 24th Special Tactics Squadron Reconnaissance Task Force during the initial stages of the 2003 invasion of Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> Airport developments Topic. Airline service The airport officially reverted to civilian control on 25 August 2004. 
Iraqi airways resumed regular flights, and courier carriers also began flights. On October 2008, Turkish Airlines launched non-stop service to Baghdad from Istanbul Atatürk International Airport with three weekly flights. On 9 October 2009, Middle East Airlines announced flights to Beirut from Baghdad. Flights operated 4x weekly from 29 October and soon after upgraded to daily service. They'd use Airbus A320 aircraft for the flights. On 17 April 2010, Etihad Airways announced they'd launch passenger flights to Baghdad from Abu Dhabi from 26 April. In June 2011, Egyptair announced the launch of flights connecting Cairo International Airport to Baghdad from 27 August 2011. The airline previously served the city in the early 1990s. Flights would be operated with Airbus A320 aircraft. On June 2011, Emirates again announced the launch of flights connecting Dubai International Airport to Baghdad from 13 November 2011. On 7 June 2012, Qatar Airways launched direct flights from Doha, four times a week. On 16 February 2013, Iraqi Airways resumed flights from Baghdad International Airport to Kuwait International Airport. This came after a 22-year hiatus. On 6 March 2013, Iraqi Airways resumed direct flights from Gatwick Airport to Baghdad International Airport. This came after a 23-year hiatus. On 25 April 2013, Iraqi Airways resumed flights to Frankfurt Airport with a Boeing 777-200 LR. On the 22nd of September 2013, Iraqi Airways announced that it would start flying to Beijing, Guangzhou, Shanghai and Bangkok. On 14 April 2014, Iraqi Airways announced that it would launch flights from Baghdad to Vienna International Airport. Baghdad International Airport upgraded their aerobridges in 2015. <laughs> Expansion plans On 18 May 2010, plans were unveiled for an expansion of Baghdad International Airport, which will double its capacity to 15 million passengers per year. The expansion, to be funded by foreign investors, will include the construction of three new terminals and the refurbishment of the existing three terminals, which will each accommodate 2.5 million passengers annually. <laughs> Airlines and destinations Topic: Passenger. Moats. One Iraqi Airways flights between Baghdad and Gatwick stop in Sofia. However, the airline does not have the rights to transport passengers solely between Baghdad and Sofia. Topic: Cargo. Topic. Incidents and accidents On 25 December 1986, Iraqi Airways Flight 163, a Boeing 737-200, flying from Baghdad to Amman, Jordan, was hijacked and damaged by a bomb in flight. The bomb exploded in the cockpit causing the plane to crash in Saudi Arabian desert, killing 63 of 106 on board. On 29 November 1987, Korean Air Flight 858, a Boeing 707-3B5C, was destroyed by a bomb over the Andaman Sea. The bomb was left by two North Korean agents who boarded in Baghdad but got off in Abu Dhabi. The plane was flying the Baghdad-Abu Dhabi-Bangkok Seoul flight. All 104 passengers and 11 crew died. On the 22nd of November 2003, a European Air Transport Airbus A300B4 freighter, registered UDLL, operating on behalf of DHL Aviation, was hit by an SA-14 Grail missile shortly after takeoff. The airplane lost hydraulic pressure and thus the controls. After extending the landing gear to create more drag, the crew piloted the plane using differences in engine thrust and landed the plane with minimal further damage. All three crew survived. Civilian planes now routinely perform corkscrew landings to minimize the risk of damage from surface weapons. 
On 26 January 2015, a Fly Dubai Boeing 737-800 on a Dubai to Baghdad service, was hit by small arms fire on approach to Baghdad International Airport with 154 passengers on board. The plane landed safely. See also List of United Kingdom military installations used during Operation Telic. <laughs>